Hey, it's Aram here. This tutorial is going to be about Google Calendar and how to manage calendars, especially when you are opening up a new Gmail account and you need things to sync. So when you're booking events, it's all going to be in the one place and you can really stay organized with your Google Calendar. Now, this question is a very typical question I get in my tech support membership.com truths. And you can learn more about that in the end if you're interested. This is a question that I got from one of my members and I had my virtual support team, uh, my virtual assistant support team actually take care of this question, record a full tutorial. And it was a really helpful tutorial and I wanted to share it with you. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to my VA who's going to share her screen and show you how to do all of that Google Calendar stuff that you need to know in order to organize your life better. So with that said, let's dive right in. here. Here's how to move a Google Calendar account to a new Google Calendar account. I have two calendars here that we'll be using as a sample. Both are my personal accounts. And let's say that I would like to move uh, this event to my new Google Calendar just to sync everything. So there are two ways. Let's say that you're only trying to move one event to the new Google Calendar. So all you have to do is click on that event and then hit Edit Event, then go to More Actions, and then Change Owner. Go ahead and input the email address of your new Google Calendar account. And it says here, I would like to transfer ownership of this event. Click Change Owner. Once you did that, you will receive an email notification from your old Gmail account to your new Gmail account. And it will look like this one. So it says right here, uh, this email address wants to make you the owner of this specific event. To accept ownership, click this link. So let us try to click the link. And let's see what will happen. Okay, perfect. So all the events for that specific one was transferred to the new Google Calendar account. So that's one sample. And then let's say you would like to move all your events to the new Google Calendar account. What will you do? So go to my calendars and then on your personal calendar, click the three dots there and go to settings and sharing. Once you're here, uh, go to the share with specific people. And then you can just go ahead and add the email address you would like to share the calendar to or you would like to transfer the ca calendar to. So let's say, yeah, let me add my own personal email and then click permissions, see all event details, and then hit send. Once you hit send, you will receive an email notification on the new Google Calendar account from the old one, and it will look like this. So hello, we are writing to let you know that the old Google account has given you access to view events on the Google Calendar called the old email account. After adding this calendar to your other calendars, you can hide or completely remove it whenever you want. So there is a link here for you to add the calendar. So just go ahead and click that. Okay. And you'll see this pop up like this one. So just click add calendar. And if you're successful, the old email address or the old Google or calendar account will show up here just like this one. And as you can see, the events were already added to the new calendar. One last option that I'm going to show you is this one. So go back to your personal calendar here on the old one. Click this three dots here. Click settings and sharing. And then click import and export. So what we're going to do is export all the events from this old calendar. So click export and click this button right here that says export. 
once you exported your events, go to your new calendar and go back to your settings by clicking these three buttons or three dots right here. Settings and sharing, import and export, and this time we'll go ahead and import the file. So we're going to import the one that we downloaded. So go back to downloads and let's open that zip file. Then click import. Okay, so we got an error. It says here, unable to process your iCall or CSV file. So I think I know the reason why. I think it was because it's a zip file. So we need to open the zip file first before uploading it. So let me open the zip file. Okay, all right. And now that we have the ICS file, let me try that again. Okay, so click import. Let's find the file. It's this one. Open that and click import. Okay, and as it says here, it's import, uh, imported 198 out of 198 events. So we successfully imported the events to the new calendar. And that's it. That's your three options on moving your calendar from your old Google Calendar account to your new Google Calendar account. Hope that helps. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you got value from this particular tutorial. This is a very typical question that I get in my tech support membership, which you can check out. There's going to be a link somewhere around here. And there's also going to be a little video where you can actually check out exactly how it is that I help people and how I answer these questions. I have a tech support membership. I answer questions in under 24 hours. I've got a support team helping me as well and over a hundred members to assist entrepreneurs just like you who are struggling with technology or don't waste your time trying to figure things out and rather ask somebody who already knows, we'll do the research for you, give you the tutorial so you can save time, save money and focus on what you enjoy doing instead of the techie stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. There's gonna be a link somewhere around here and in the description and uh, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel so you can see other videos like this. And I'm going to show you some other videos here that might be of interest to you. That's about it. Thanks a lot. And I'll speak to you soon.